Hey traders, T. Bradley 90 here. For those who do not know, Alex took on the challenge recently of seeing how much he can grow a $30,000 account in 30 trading days and the results are in and he made $84,000 in less than 30 trading days, which turned his $30,000 account into $113,000. Alex recently put together a free mentorship course with his mentor, Bao, explaining exactly how he did this. The link is available at myinvestingclub.co slash Alex. There's limited seating every single week, so be sure to reserve your spot. As a very special gift to our YouTube viewers, I want to announce something very special. This is my personal phone number, my personal number that I am putting out to you guys. If you have any questions about joining MIC or on the fence about joining our wonderful club, you can contact me now directly and personally, and I will get back to you. Right. Um, I think there's a lot of bad connotation in scalping, and I want to get into that. All right. So let's, um, what do you mean it gets weird? It's, is it still good? Is it clear? Is it coming across clear? I don't want to start this before. Okay. Right on. All right. Let's get started. So today, um, we're going to talk about the key traders of the week. Um, if we have time, I want to get to your trades. Um, last time, we didn't really have time, but I'm um, hoping that we get to do that. Cool, Brandon. Uh, then we're going to talk about the market sentiment, um, as we do every single week. This week, there's um, quite a bit to talk about on that. Um, and then we're gonna talk. Then we're gonna get deep into scalping. And at the end of the webinar, we're gonna um, finish the webinar with Q and A. And you can always you can ask any question, and I'll try to get to it if it pertains to what um, we're talking about. Okay. So IMBI was a trader uh, late Friday, I believe. Um, and so fitting. I don't know how this works out, but like fitting, like this was open scalps, right? Um, like I was just scalping this out of the open, just using lines to do it, right? So this is there's, there's a really good topic I want to talk about with this particular chart. There was a breakdown here at around 520. It was the support in the morning and then it broke down, right? But you see how this line isn't that defined? Like you can tell that it broke down here. Like this is where it broke down, like where it tried to bounce from it was around the 520 level, it tried to bounce and failed. Right, so this is where it tried to find support, but support was not there. But this one I was ready for. Um, and I just didn't come back a third time. So anyway, I had this trade live. Um, I, I recorded this trade live and I saved this one so that I could show it here in the webinar. So um, I'm gonna full screen this. Um, this, was my, this was my IMBI trade live. So let's go. All right. Oh, that was fast, let me turn it up. All right. Got real done. I am It's only two minutes. Got real done. I am Got See how I wait for that stuff? I don't I don't anticipate it. I wait to see if it's gonna fail or not first. Got build on I am Got real done, I am Got real done, I am There we go. Anyway, so that was open scalps. And, and not all scalps are going to be that fast or that hectic, but that, that's an example of an open scalp. Anyway, so this one was SNC8. This one was my most disappointing trade of the week, man. I thought about this one for a couple of days. And it's like, it, it's just because I, like, I had a lot of size on this position and I'm just so excited for it and it just didn't work out. But, Anyway, this was going to be so gold. Anyway, SNCA, um, and then I left, and then later it, it pushed. But 
Anyway, so SNCA started as a first bounce trade. Now, this was, I was really excited about this one because this was a strong stock, right? We're up from 130 to like 260. We're already up 100% on the day. And like I talked about in the float rotation and the float, like the float and market cap webinar last week, being up 100% does not mean we can't go to 200 or 300, uh, right? NVAX, uh, Alex, I think, traded this a lot better than me. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think he, he constantly recycled this, and I was a little afraid of it. I, I was just um, – it had tanked so much, and I just, like I, – I hated that it tanked so much at the open, but so I just – I was just trying to get, like, you know, just, like, leftover trades on it. But anyway, this is the breakdown short. It broke – nine was a clear level pre-market. Um, <clears throat> nine was a clear level pre-market, and it broke down harshly. You can see this where it broke down like super harshly. Um, and then so, you know, that, that kind of got me excited, right? Like, I'm like, okay, that's a big tank. Now I consider this a breakdown. So basically, um, what I, oh man, I copied that. I don't know, I cop that, that one didn't copy over, crap. Hey traders, T Bradley 90 here, Tosh Bradley from My Investing Club Chat. Just wanted to reach out to you personally and show you how to contact myself personally if you have any questions about joining MIC, about MIC in general, or are on the fence and need a little bit of guidance before you join. For the first time ever, I have put out my personal number for you to reach me directly among my email at Tosh at myinvestingclub.com and our Twitter and IG handles. Reach out today and get any information you need on what makes MIC so great and why you should join us today.